when it comes to wiring solar panels you either wire the solar panels in series or in parallel we also have series parallel connection so in this video i'm going to show you how to wire your solar panels in series and in parallel and what will happen when you connect the solar panels in series or in parallel now connecting your solar panels in series or in parallel or series parallel connection depends on the pv input requirements of your solar charge controller or your hybrid inverter or the device that you are connecting the solar panels to please let me know where you are watching from now we have these two identical solar panels um, that we are going to use for this test and we are connecting them to a Victron solar charge controller so here we have um, the terminals of panel A, this is panel A, and we also have the terminals of panel B, so this is panel B. Here we have the positive and the negative, here we also have the positive and the negative. So we are going to monitor their output, uh, what they are producing through the Victron app. So to connect our solar panels in series, this is the positive of uh, panel A. Then we have the negative of panel B. So if we are to connect in series, we connect negative of this to positive of this. The panels are connected in series. So this is what we have. They are connected in series. So we now have our output terminals. This is what we will be sending to the charge controller. Then we have that's the cable that will take whatever that the panels are generating to the solar charge controller. Always use MC4 connectors. Don't twist the cables. So we will now connect positive to positive, negative to negative to the terminals that are going to this charge controller. The Victron app is reading zero watts. It's reading zero watts. All right. In series connection, we have 65 or 7. Is fluctuating between 60 to 70 volts my battery is almost uh, fully charged then what is um, coming from the PV that's the voltage is 66 67 volts then we have the current 4.5 amps and the power that is generating these two panels are generating is 270 to 80 something watts it is fluctuating now the batteries are almost fully charged and the time now is about um, 3.24 p.m. 3.24 p.m. So the intensity of sun is not that high. And the batteries, uh, the battery bank is almost fully charged. So this is series connection. Core voltage will increase. The voltage, the M, um, VMP of each of this panel is, um, is 40.88 volts. That's the VMP. While the VOC is 49.2 volts. But we are using the VMP because the panels are already connected to a load. So we are using the VMP, which is 40.88 volts. So what we are reading from the solar charge controller is 66 uh, to 70 volts. So voltage has increased, but current you know, will stay the same. That is what happens when you connect solar panels in series. Now we are going to connect these solar panels in parallel and see what will happen when they are connected in parallel. So we are going to disconnect them. Now to do parallel connection, we are going to use these Y connectors. We are using these Y connectors. This is for two input. We have, this is for four. We also have the one for three. So depending on the number of panels you are going to connect. So to do this, all the negatives of the solar panels will come to one of this uh, branch connector and all the positives will come to this branch connector. So we have positive here. Then the positive of panel B here. Then this will now go to the negative, or sorry, the positive of our solar charge controller. Then here we have all the negatives. All the negatives. 
then we have it here. That is what we are producing. Still, uh, you can see the wattage. There is no change. So whether you connect in series or you connect in parallel, the power output will remain the same. Now that we have connected in parallel, we are having 8.4 amps. But when we connected in series, the current was 4 point something amps. And the voltage was 70 something, 80 something volts. But now that we have connected in parallel, current has increased. But voltage is still the same. The VMP of the panels. Now you may be asking between series and parallel, which one is good? Now, connecting in series or in parallel depends on your system configuration. Now, if you have from um, a large system, you have many solar panels, it is advisable you connect them in series to reduce your cable size because when you have many parallel connections, you are increasing the current and because of that high current, you will need large cables to accommodate the amount of current that will be flowing through them and you know, increasing the, the size of cable will increase also increase the overall cost of the system and it will also lead to voltage drop but if you connect your solar panels in series it will make the work very easy for you you will not need many cables you may have nine of these solar panels you can connect all of them in series and send them to your uh, charge controller or to your hybrid inverter mostly hybrid inverter because most solar charge controllers their pv input voltage is low this victron uh, solar charge controller the PV input voltage is 250 volts. There are some, their PV input voltage is 150, some 190 or 195 volts. But for hybrid inverters, you have some that many hybrid inverters can accept up to 500 volts from PV. So you can wire the solar panels either 9, 8 or 6, 7 in series. You have high voltage. So you don't need large cables. You can use 4 mm or 6 mm cable depending on the distance. But one thing you should know in series connection is that if this panel is shaded, the overall system uh, performance will drop. But if the solar panels are connected in parallel, if one is shaded, others will still be producing. That is the system. It is only that shaded panel that the output or the efficiency will drop. But uh, in series connection, if one panel is shaded, the output or the performance of the entire uh, string or uh, uh, panels connected will be affected. So, um, for me, if I have um, a hybrid inverter or a solar charge controller, I prefer connecting my solar panels or wiring them in series so that uh, it makes the work very fast for me, just positive to negative, positive to negative, and you are done. But if you are connected in parallel, you will need all these branch connectors or Y connectors. It will make the work very tedious for you. Then you also need, um, uh, what's it called, combiner box. You know, wiring the combiner box and, the, um, and other things, you need, uh, uh, you know, fuse. Each of the parallel strings will have a fuse. Those uh, will increase um, the time you are using to install the system. But for series connection, you don't need a combiner box. You don't need these Y connectors because everything is connected in series. And most of the hybrid inverters we have now, some of them come with two strings or three strings or MPPT. So you just wire them in series, wire the second one in series, wire the third one in series, depending on the hybrid inverter. So. Uh, for small systems, you can do parallel connection. But when you are having large PV systems, series connection is the best because it will make the work easy and it will reduce the stress of using large cables, you know, using the combiner, PV combiner box and the rest. So it all depends on your system configuration. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.